柱たち時を越え真空の自信をが立ち上がる勇気を引き合わせる闇を欺いて刹那を交わしてやいばすりのけやつらの隙をつけ貫いた思いが未来を開く Like a body s t o n 熱く Like a body s t o n 結膜に刻まれた因縁に浮き上がる消えない誇りの絆Okay, yeah. How's Cold Bacon like in, right next to me? What the hell? Oh, Boy. geez. You don't want to be next to Cold. Yeah, he's the one shooting at me right now. <laughs> Beast Axel、oh, was wait, the first just... player to break 175. Woo. Wait a minute. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. Oh, stop shooting me. Are you getting shot at? Oh,、yeah. shit. Oh shit, he's low. He's, he's low, he's low. We have to go. No, not gonna lie, you're probably not gonna catch up to me. Okay, he's always、oh, nearly getting the long shot. I kind of know his block rush doesn't work. How? Stop chasing me! Is it, is it, is it the, the red team that's chasing you? It's two people on the red team. It's called Bacon, and I didn't check the other one. I'm behind you、oh, guys. Okay, it'll probably、yeah. be O Dog. I fell behind. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm like going around walls. I'm gonna have to eat soon. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh,、uh, I see a player, I see a player, I see a player. It's Venny. Please say, please say. It's Venny. If, 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 Ve- if we go for Venny, they might trail off you. You want me to craft the bow? Uh, that'd be a good idea. Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's bad fun. Yeah, see, if we just 1v3 Venny, they'll be forced to help him, so they'll go off you. Yeah, but then the, will they 2v1 me? Okay, yeah, they're, they're quite far behind. They're not gonna land a shot, so I'm just gonna keep running. As long as I keep running, this shouldn't kill me. Oh, whoa, damn it, okay. See, Venny's see, yeah, Venny's Venny Venny running now, so. Yeah. Either... I'm on two and a half. I'm on、mm. half a heart. How no. Still landing shots. Ah,、oh, Venny shot me. Is that Venny? I'm、nice. not gonna lie, I'm gonna die here. I'm a terrible shot. Don't let me be first death, please. I'm tr- we're trying to shoot Venny, but we're kind of. Te- no, we're kind of- no, oh god, it's so close. Oh my god, the skeleton's there. No, 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 no. Venny's in chance. I shot Venny. Shot Venny twice. I found a swamp.、Please. Wow, there. Okay, there. Okay, then man, let's follow. Oh, D-, 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 Roy- D Roy's turned up. No! D Roy's turned up. No, Summer! D Roy, D- Roy showed up. Oh, GG.、Um, I had a lot of feathers and string and stuff, but. Oh, Venny. Oh, Venny.、Uh, I'm, I'm like not having many arrows here. Do me a favor, kill Benny. We're, we're trying, but I think they're healing, maybe. Telling you, you're, 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 you're power force is gonna, you're gonna have to do some work here. Oh, damn, I tried to block that one. Didn't do well. Sorry, I need my mic. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I healed one, so.、I'm... I've only hit one shot so far, though. Damn. Wow. I haven't hit, hit one yet. Hit D-Rory. Oh, I got hit. Oh, that does. Venny went behind, Venny, Venny went behind a wall. Hit D-Rory. Hit D-Rory. Yeah, Venny went behind a wall. Hit D-Rory. Wow. Shot D-Rory. Yeah. I got hit. Wow. Shot Venny. You're at three hearts. No, that did three hearts. Oh, they're, they're running back. They're running back. Wow. They're separating. I, did, I killed you, Rory. Nice. Alright, nice. Venny.、Uh, I, I, can't, I can't face Venny on my own. Venny is better、him? than me. I'm on five and a half, so I think I'm here, okay for take now. This, take this. Oh, there's t- bad, bad and colder here. Bad, bad and colder here. That is run, not good. Run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Run. Nope. We're not. We're not fighting right now. We're not doing this. Yeah, this is bad situation. Are they enchanted, bad fan? Yeah,、them? they're they're enchanted as well. We don't. We're not yet. All right. Yeah. Who? Which one of them is chase? Is like f- f- up front. I think that's that's cold. It's up front. I think. I can't tell because they both yeah, have goofy it's... mouths. Why do you make him put on glasses? Okay, they both got goofy mouths. Okay,、That's、so it's, de- it's definitely Cole because he's the closest one. O Dog's way back still. Did we 3v1 Cold? 
I mean, there's uh, still there's, there's that. Yeah, there's still two of them there. I don't know if Bad Fan's proper coming though. I think Bad Fan might be behind. Uh, make sure to be right because that's where everything's turning. Yeah. Because they're running faster than me. Oh. oh. Oh, I, I kind of just jumped into that one. <laughs> that was bad on my behalf. Jump over to the right so they can't hit you. Yeah. The corner. Oh, yeah, you get real you get real close. Thank goodness for these trees as well. Real Gotta close. love nature. Real close to wall. Is it, oh, hello. That nearly hit you. That mu uh, I'm assuming fucking Cole going for it. Cole, Cole's a fucking madman with a bow. Yeah, I don't want to pick up a lava bucket, but... That's not worth it right now. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, we're, we're relatively safe here because the mine shaft above us. Yeah. They won't. They won't take shots while they're while we're in here. But they're gonna they're gonna have more ground to shoot us at once they get past it, which is oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, there's trees here. There's some cut down trees. We can use these as cover. Let's just make it to the dark forest. Oh yeah, they're all. I can see them all now. They're definitely all three of them are there. Oh my gosh. Uh. We're unfortunately gonna have to find some way to duke him, and I don't know. The best, like, we either have to hope we run into another team, or... Major Wolf keeps getting, he's grinding out gold by breaking stone buttons over and over again. Ooh. Wait, you get gold for that? It's it's broken. It's oh, it's no. saying he's the first one to get a stone button over and over again. Guys, I'm falling behind. Oh, shit, careful. Uh, look out. Yep. Have to eat real quick. I have to eat as well. That is, I'm so far behind. I do too. It's, it's fine, it's not fine, it's fine. They're gonna catch me. They're gonna catch me. No, no, you're fine. You're fine, dude. Uh, dark. Wait, the root force is coming up. Yeah, yeah, root force. We're gonna have to try and get on top, like, really quickly. No, I don't not... have blocks. I don't have blocks. We you don't have blocks? Fuck, okay. Stay at the bottom. Just a few. It'd take us time to get on top. <sighs> Fuck, okay. This is interesting. Uh. I'm veering in straight over to the left here. We. Okay, they have the gear advantage of us, but we have the health advantage over. Do we actually? Yeah, we actually oh, have we a do. health. a significant health advantage. They've got, like,. Five hearts apiece. Yeah. I imagine it's probably I imagine it's probably okay. just Venny's quite low and the others are not right. as low. Oh, decent. Yeah, I imagine Venny's probably still low. Okay, thank you. Okay. What so, the fuck? This is a problem. Um, is that a gas spawner? It's a oh. it's a water temple. Oh, Fuck. Okay. Um, That's a bad idea. Oh, they're still chasing, but we we got we got a significant lead on them. We got a, we got a very significant lead on them. Yeah, we need to go right again. Yeah. Guys, you're way ahead of me. You're way ahead of me. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Fuck. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh shit, you are way behind. Careful. Just just go. Just go. Just go. Just stop running, you fucks. <laughs> Alright, we're um, we're not gonna be able to break into the walls anytime soon. No. Okay. How many, do you guys have arrows? Like, don't like stop checking inventory. Five on yeah. me. Just holding them in my hand. Uh, oh, my. Just want, uh, guys, I need you to wait up. They're shooting at me. I have to eat, and I can't. Ugh. I took a long shot with one of my few arrows. I might as well try doing that. Um, yeah. No, that's too far. We kind of might. We might actually just want to like stop and face them. If we if we can get somewhere where we can get a decent ad guys, advantage, I got position. three people shooting at me. I Ow. The problem I have here is that I got hit. I don't have enough arrows I to really do that much. Oh shit! They must have. A, they must have got a good bow done. So do you guys want to come least. back and fight, or we're we gonna keep running now? We might have to try and fight them. Yeah, our health is almost equal to theirs right now. Yeah, they have a gear. They have definitely have gear advantage, but we just there's if we just keep running, they're gonna keep chasing. So we might as well just try and see what we can do, pick yeah. them off. Hey, uh, can you put down your anvil real fast? Yes. Uh, I only have right. a stone sword, but I'll put sharp three on it. <laughs> let's go, let's go, okay. Wait, I have, an, I have an iron sword, put it on this. Okay, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming! They hit me oh, for three fuck. and a half. Venny, 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 yeah, Venny duped me from the side. I'm missing all my shots. Me too, I'm at a heart and a half. No, okay. You have a gapple? No, I don't. I shot one I'm, of them twice. I'm a one shot. Hit I someone. Have a Hit someone twice. Oh, Venny died. Did I kill him? V Venny just died. Like it just said, zero died. I hit him twice, and someone died. I think I killed. I him. got shot. I'm on. I'm out of arrows. I'm on one and a half. I died. Oh, oh no. 
Ura, the hell Ura, no? Ura. Get my power four, man. I can anyways. I don't think he can. I have not. I don't think I picked it up. He's at four hearts. I have arrows. Did I kill Vinny? Uh, Col oh fuck. Cole just comboed me. Shit. Uh, I think oh, I killed Vinny. GG. You might have killed Vinny. That was an interesting one. Alright, they're, they're at 97 overall. Yeah. But now they have talent worldwide. That's not a good thing. Cole Dude, Bacon has four kills. Hi. Kill you? Damn. Our twisted tale begins, of course, in the forgotten gray, misty valleys of 2008. Just to put you in the proper mindset, what was on the store shelves at the time? Well, titles like Grand Theft Auto 4, Fallout 3, Gears of War 2, and on top of them all, Silent Hill Homecoming. The bigger publishers and developers were fast coming to grips with AAA HD gaming, and some serious blockbusters were starting to blockbust. Enter Deep Silver, a Germany-based publisher who also wanted their piece of the lucrative HD pie, but wasn't having much dollar success releasing such games as Stalker, The Risen series, and other weird Euro jank. That's not going to get you global success though, and they wanted to release a hit, especially in North America. They teamed up with similar underdog developer Yucatechnix, who specialized in decades of obscure Commodore 64 and Amiga games no one's ever heard of. The England-based developer's first major release most may remember is the unmemorable 007 Racing, which I can barely bring myself to think about even now. Speaking of racing though, that's the only genre Yucatechnics seemingly got a handle on, as the bulk of their work included such mega hits as Big Mother Truckers, Street Racing Syndicate, a uh, Cartoon Network thing. The, fa the Fast and the Furious. Pimp My Ride. Hot Wheels Beat That. And finally, Big Mother Truckers 2. Remember, we live in a world where we never got Silent Hills, but we got a sequel to Big Mother Truckers. I'm sorry. Anyway, Deep Silver saw Yucatechnics' back catalog and said, hmm. I'll have a bit of that, and immediately got them to work on making some generic biker game, most likely trying to fill the road rash shaped void in our hearts that EA refuses to fill. The game was simply called Ride to Hell, and there's not much to say about it. The first, how should I put it, concept trailer dropped in late 2008. You know what also dropped in late 2008? A tiny, independent TV show called Sons of Anarchy. This was important, as it most likely changed a lot of the design of Ride to Hell moving forward, as it had a 2009 release date planned, but it would hilariously miss by a good four years, and become derided as one of the worst video games ever released. Ever. But, I believe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. So, what happened? Well, when Ride to Hell was first announced, the entire scope of the project, the design, story, mission structure, just everything, was vastly different than what oozed out of Yucatechnics' ass years later. Originally, it was planned to be a vast open-world game, racing and exploring through the different highways and desert towns of California, sort of like a GTA, but with a much greater focus on vehicular combat. You would supposedly have both gun and melee moves on and off your bike, and there'd be miles and miles of virtual turf to explore. This would be the most ambitious thing Yucatechnics had ever, and would ever attempt, so it's not surprising it fell through for a variety of reasons which we will now go into. Deep Silver was struggling to find their place in the market, and the failure of one of their other high-profile titles, Curse Mountain, affected the production schedule of Ride to Hell. And when I say affected, I mean almost goddamn killed it. This is mainly due to another arm of the publisher, Deep Silver Vienna. Who is Deep Silver Vienna? Well, they were Deep Silver, but based in Vienna. While they had a confusing name, they actually helped develop some games, with Curse Mound being the last one they worked on in collaboration with another company. When the horror title failed to find any commercial success on the Wii and PC in August of 2009, Deep Silver headquarters in Germany disbanded the team altogether. Problem was, they had been helping Yucatechnics in developing Ride to Hell at the same time, which is already complicated enough as it is, but, you know, screw it, let's make it even more complicated. 
From then on out, for years, you Kadaknix plugged away at the game, trying to breathe life into this hideous creature it had wrought, albeit with a slashed budget and less hands to handle all the scalpels and organs that were flopping onto the floor. Everything had to be changed, revised, and cut, and of course, the first thing to go was the entire open world concept. It would just be too demanding to get everything to run well under those conditions, so it turned into a level-based affair that had driving sections to bridge the gap between levels. Combat on motorcycles was also heavily modified, and now just amounted to a bunch of QTEs. And of course, a lot of the story content and voice acting, which had already been recorded years ago, had to also be redone to keep in line with the new design. Look lad, this is the part where you beg for your life, you understand? What's more, is that Sons of Anarchy was almost finished airing by this point. In the time Ride to Hell was announced between when it was released, six seasons of SOA had come and gone and it proved to be immensely popular during its run. When the game was re-unveiled in February of 2013, a lot had obviously changed. Even though Vienna folded, Deep Silver were still supporting the game and were committed to releasing it, but were now bolstered by the popularity of Sons of Anarchy. This was painfully obvious, as the concept art, marketing, and visuals all leaned heavily on the specific biker iconography the show had prominently featured. In fact, Deep Silver, for some reasons, started to see even more potential with the brand, instead of like, zero, and rather than adopt a smart sort of wait-and-see approach, they rushed full-on into a stupid let's-put-all-our-eggs-in-one-basket approach. Not only was Ride to Hell, now subtitled Retribution, reintroduced, Deep Silver announced a Ride to Hell spin-off! Blazing your way to PSN and Xbox 360 Arcade comes Ride to Hell Route 666! a motorcycle-focused downloadable title that was being developed by Black Forest Games. Man, that's that's so crazy, announcing a spin-off before your main entry in the series is even released. Is, is there anyone else as dumb as that? But what's even crazier is, of course, announcing a second spin-off game. Yes, proving that God is truly dead and we are all dancing on his corpse, Deep Silver announced Ride to Hell Beatdown, which was going to be a brawling action game released exclusively from mobile platforms because fuck you. There is almost zero information for this game other than the logo, and at some point in time it may or may not have existed. There was never a release date or even developer attached to the product, and I think we are all better off for that. June of 2013 then rolled around and Ride to Hell Retribution released for the 360, PS3, and Windows to very little fanfare. Uh, this was a game that few people heard of and even fewer cared about. However, very quickly, the name of Ride to Hell was soon on everyone's lips, usually in the context of, oh, this is so bad, why is this happening, and please stop, this is physically hurting me, and featured very heavily on multiple lists of top 10 worst games released of that year, and maybe even ever. For those that don't know, it did take place during the 1960s and in California, so that much was retained. It focused on Jack Black's character from Brutal Legend, as he returns to his old stomping grounds after a few tours in the military. He and his kid brother run afoul a bunch of evil bikers, fancy that, and the kid brother is quickly killed off for reasons I can't remember and didn't bother to research further. During this emotionally sensitive time for Jack Black, he agonizes over the loss of his sibling and completely focuses himself on getting revenge on the bikers who killed him, never once losing sight of his goal or getting distracted in any way whatsoever. Terrible cutscenes, poor voice acting, numerous bugs, monotonous gameplay, sad, pathetic depictions of sex, the list of the game's sins are long and accurate, believe me, I know. With a slash budget, diminished workforce, and not having a support team guiding their hand, you Katechnics were maybe not held in check, maybe left to their own devices too much, and maybe simply just needed to ship a product. Quality be damned. This of course then resulted in all the cut corners, rushed cutscenes, bland gameplay, and oodles of unfixed bugs. So you wouldn't be shocked to see the catastrophically low 19 point average on Metacritic and 15% on game rankings, and remains at the very least one of the worst reviewed titles of the entire generation. A choice bit of critique comes from EGM where they stated, other games may have offered less content for more money or come up shorter in specific individual areas, but I don't think there's ever been a game that does so many things so universally poorly. The average score they graced it with was a 0 0.5. So, that closes the book on Ride to- No, 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 hold up, because we're, we're not done yet. You look like shit, Jake. With all this, um, not 
great press about the game, Deep Silver then cancelled the fuck out of both Ride to Hell Route 666 and Ride to Hell Beatdown. Black Forest Games, they went on to developing the Gianna Sisters revival, no, not that Gianna, and whoever was developing Beatdown is assumed to be closed or never existed at all. Wait, what about you, Katechnics? You scream with your clenched fists in the air? Well, weirdly enough, and a first for what happened, they are seemingly not dead, I think. The last title they have credited to their name is NASCAR 15, which was released in 2015 for the 360 and PS3, which is weird, considering both the PS4 and Xbox One had been out for almost two years at that point. Your guess is as good as mine. Their website is still active, and while they have been firing scores of people for the last two years, their doors do seem to be currently open, so I guess that's something. Nah, it's actually not. As for Deep Silver, they have transmogrified themselves into THQ Nordic, and have made some great moves since Ride to Hell, like attaining both the Darksiders and Saints Row franchise, and publishing Battle Chasers Night War. They also published Mighty Number no. 9, and were the ones that made the Anime Fans on Prom Night trailers. Like an anime fan on prom night. So yeah, it's a mixed bag. Right to Hell certainly made an impact in the game industry when it released, and while it wasn't for anything even approaching positive, it still made a mark. Like a massive car crash that everyone can't help but stare at as they drive by, or the same type of slack-jawed gaze you drift into when you see two emotionless mass of polygons and textures dry-hump each other into oblivion.